ピソード1みなさんこんにちはサンサンです。If you have not seen the pilot episode for Learn Japanese m o b i q and Co, you might、um, like to check it out there, I think. Okay.、Um, just so you know how this program works and what to expect from it. But you can just pick it up on the go if you like. So don't worry. In this first episode of MobiQ and Co. Intermediate, you will have a look of the use of potential forms in the Japanese language. You will learn how to express that you or someone else can or cannot do something. じゃ始まりましょう The four kanji words we will encounter today are ski, taberu, nomu, and kuru. This kanji consists of two other kanji, woman and child. It basically means to like. The reading you will encounter most of the time is su. And not to confuse you any further, I will not really bother you with the other ones right now. This kanji means food or eating. There are two readings that are important at the moment shoku and ta. The Chinese reading, Shoku is usually used in kanji compounds like shokuchi, while the Japanese reading, ta, is used in the word taberu. But the word for food, tabemono, also uses the ta reading because there is this okurigana in the middle. Ta, be, mono. This kanji means to drink. The most important reading for us is not. But in kanji compounds, it can also be read as in. Typical words of this kanji are nomu and nomimono. The main meaning for this kanji is to come. It can be read as ku, ko, or ki when used as a verb, depending on which form you use. As a kanji compound, it is usually read dai, like in mirai or daigetsu. So, that's it for now. I hope I didn't stress you out too much already. Let's move on to the grammar. Ah, this can be done! Okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ah, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. のは苦手です。苦手です。大きなです。よし。できた。よし。ちょっと、ちょっと見せて。こんな感じですね。見えるかな。私は英語と理科ができるようになりたいです。ボーのリーダーなんだから。ボーのリーダーなんだから。風崎リーダーリーダーアピールするよ。<笑>どうなん？<笑>いい？いいですか？変化できますか？分かった。じゃあボーのリーダー作るのかもと頑張ります。はい行きましょう。We could hear plenty of examples of our new grammar today. Now let's take it slowly and go through it step by step. First, we have a look at the verb suru. As you know, suru is an irregular verb, and its potential form has not much to do with the potential forms of all the other verbs out there. The potential form of the verb suru is the kiru. The kiru is a very handy potential to know. Basically, with this little word, you could express anything that you can or can't do. There are two ways to use the kiru. For example, just how you always use suru when you want to make a noun a verb. Noun plus suru, or in our case, the kiru. For example, benkyo suru, benkyo ga dekiru. 
careful to use the right particle. While you use o when you want to turn a noun into a verb, you use ga if you want to say that you can or cannot do something. Then there's another way how you can use the kido to express other verbs, just in case you might have forgotten the real right potential form of that. I'm sure you can remember how to say that you like to do something, right? For example, Utao no ga suki da. I like to sing. If you want to say that you can sing, then you just exchange the suki da part with dekiru. Utao no ga dekiru. I can sing. If you want to use the negative form of dekiru, or its more formal mas form, that's easy. It just works like an ichidan verb, or some of you might know it as a do verb. So the mas form for dekiru is dekimasu. And one more thing, in the video there are also examples where dekiru does not mean to be able to do something. In its past form, it can also mean that something is done, like homework or a meal. So please. Pay attention to the context. Easy enough? Now let's have a look at some exercises. Mei no you ni bun no tsukutte kudasai. Just have a look at the short video clips and the word hint at the top, and then decide whether the people in the video clips can or cannot do what they are doing. This is the end of part A. Please go on to the next video. I'm waiting for you.